Got a, a really cool mother versus son type scenario in this Melbourne Cup. Uh, first of all, Di McDonald, how proud are you of what James is achieving over here? Oh, so proud. He's done so well and I'm just lucky to be a part of it. Yeah, and now you've got a chance to beat him in a Melbourne Cup. Would you like to do that? Uh, no, I'll be yelling for Gold Trip all the way with a withering late run by Virtuous Circle run second. <laughs> It's so cool, James. I know you've ridden Melbourne Cups before. You've won this race, obviously, very elegant. But how cool is it to have Mum's involvement as a breeder and owner of a, of a rival? Yeah, for sure. It's um, it, well, obviously we've seen it from a foal all the way up to a yearling go through a sale, make beautiful amount of money, and um, and now we're we're obviously a part of it with a with a the greatest race of them all being the Melbourne Cup. So it's fantastic to have a obviously a runner for Mum, even though it's only a small small share. Um, Still, it's hard hard enough to get a, a winner these days. So to have a runner in the Melbourne Cup, some something different, you know. So. Yeah, it's interesting what you're saying, Doug, because you, you're saying your eyes will be on James, even though you've got a horse in a Melbourne Cup. Yeah, no, much prefer him to win it, but um, it'll be good for the mayor though, and so I'm hoping he'll, you know, fall into a place maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell us a little bit about that background story, because I think Guy Mulcast is involved, isn't he? Yes, um, Guy and I own the mayor, and um, we bred the, this, this guy and we bred a full brother as well and um, yeah it's been a been a good journey, I had good money for them. Yeah. Who's, it, who's she in fault to? Uh, she's gone to Wooden... Wood, Animo. Oh Animo! <laughs> there you go, Cox Plate winner of yours too, because oh, I'm picking you've been involved the whole way. I got a mates rates too, <laughs> family <laughs> discount. Uh, perfect. Um, Di, just before we let uh, you go, what, what can you hope for with, with Virtual Circle? Um, top 10? Yeah. I'm really hoping for top 10. Yeah. And what are you hoping for James? One. Okay. And uh, James obviously, it's a great ride to get uh, Gold Trip. You're out on, on his back at Cranbourne yesterday, how's he going? Yeah he looks fantastic, he's, um, he's in unbelievable good form. He's had the same preparations he did when he won the cup last year. His run in the Cox Plate was awesome, you know. I thought he was a, a fantastic run, especially against those quality horses and he's a wait for age performer which I think I think the winner will come from top four in the in the handicap there, and so so he's he's in with a huge chance. He's got an economical barrier where he should get a lovely run in the race and and conserve energy. And if he can show that burst that he did last year, any rain would be a great asset to him. But he's he's terrific. He's in great form, and it's a great pickup ride. You have to be a durable, tough sort of horse, and um, yeah, well, I think we'll find that out on Tuesday when um, when he when Gold Trips hit. Hopefully hitting the front. And of course, uh, Craig Newitt's in the jockey's room with you. He, he, he rides Mum's horse. Uh, did you give him any advice the other day? Yeah, I said I don't want you one tick overweight. <laughs> I said oh, it's got to be 51 <laughs> on the dot. And as I said, don't stuff it up. Just give him a clear run, son. <laughs> Absolutely. Best of luck, guys. It's such a cool moment, and we wish you the best in the cup. And if I'm inside him, don't hold me in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much.